The FBI is, is, is theirs, it's yours. It's, the community owns the FBI, okay? We work for the community. While most of what we know about the Federal Bureau of Investigation is what we see on television and in the movies, that shouldn't be the case. FBI Special Agent Joseph Strauss addressed Rotarians this week, where he sheds some of the mystery behind the federal agency, whose mission is both criminal investigations and national security. He also shared crime trends here at home and across the nation, many of which are occurring online. We have a lot of crime uh, cases that are crimes against children. Um, of course, with the internet and social media, crimes against children have uh, e exploded uh, worldwide. It's an extreme danger. The danger has prompted the need for a new task force, the Marianas Child Exploitation Task Force. It's, uh, it's composed of child crimes investigators and specialists from all the agencies, FBI, HSI, Homeland Security, Coast Guard Investigative Service, Guam Police Department, Guam Attorney General's Office, um, several other agencies are participating on this. Uh, but it's a coordinated effort where we have a task force that's focusing on these crimes against children um, internet related cyber crimes. But it's not just children who are vulnerable. Local businesses have fallen victim to business email compromise scams. Let's just imagine a, a, a business, right, and has a, a CEO, an owner operator, a, a, a mid level management staff, and then a, a administrative staff. There's criminal organizations throughout the world that are researching that business and they're spending a lot of time and effort uh, going through social media, going through um, uh, uh, filings in the community, uh, getting getting records, and they're, they're actually studying and analyzing the business. To include getting directories um, and email contact information. How does it work? A mid-level or lower-level employee responsible for dispersing paychecks or paying vendor invoices will receive what looks like a legitimate email from management. And the email would say something like, um, you know, Sally, uh, uh, please send the make the fifteen thousand dollar wire to this account number. Employee, believe it or not, in many cases will do that. We've had businesses in the community, and this is nationwide, and also here in Guam, uh, that have been victimized by this. Okay, and so and many times the businesses don't realize it until all of a sudden they, their accounts are drained down, the invoices they thought were paid are not paid, payroll checks are coming back, NSF. Some of them have been, have been lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, and then. They come to the FBI uh, to, to help. In many cases, it's way too late. It's way after the fact. Hackers are also targeting the average user, sometimes disguised as a big retailer preparing to ship you an item you didn't order. How the way the scam works is um, they will send out an email uh, making it look like it's, it's something from like Amazon or eBay or, or like a big box store or something, an Internet sale. Okay, they send it out. They want you to look at it and say, I didn't order that. And so you, you click their link to show you more detail on the transaction or to cancel it. Here, press here to cancel it. And that's when they're, that's when they're loading the malicious software into your computer. Strawn says delete these emails immediately. Uh, the malicious software comes into your computer. And in some cases, they'll hijack your computer system.